Hard-working Americans like you and me try to support our president, and we are not this radio station, fascists. too. Well, to those bleeding heart liberals, we probably are fascists because we actually try. <laughs> off the next Hitler or, or granting us a badly on? needed tax credit. It Hello? Uh, hey, Bev, it's uh, me, Jordan. Oh, uh, well, um, do, do you want something? Yeah, I was just wondering, uh, is Kendra going to go to that uh, bring your daughter to work deal today? Well, I'm not trying to second guess you. I thought if you weren't taking her, that that maybe I could bring her with me to. I told you before, you get every other weekend and Thursdays. It's look, look, I, I know it's your turn. I was just wondering that if maybe I. Quit wondering. You're not taking her. All right, look, look, Beth, forget the whole thing, okay? Um, have a great day. A and listen, I'll drop those papers off to the lawyer's office by tonight. Telling you, friends. <laughs> I sure hope your day's going better than mine. Because over here at Badger Broadcasting, we're stuck with dishing out all the bad news to all you loyal listeners. You know, Wendell Wilder nailed it on the head last night. You see, the so called revolutionaries out there, they're all hell bent on using their pet weapons. Civil Liberties Union is a wedge for splitting this country right down the middle. <laughs> Don't we want that? I mean, ask yourselves. Isn't it time, as average citizens, we took a stance and said to those bureaucrats at the Civil Liberties, Look, we're a democracy here. We'll figure it out on our own. Jordan, every business around here is into this new software. Hey, when's the last time old Benny steered you wrong, huh? Never. <laughs> Your bosses will love you for it, guaranteed. You know, it sounds like what we're looking for, and then you're usually right on the It's board. what you need, and that's no bull. Hey, speaking of which, did you happen to catch Wendell Wilder's show last night? Hey, you know, uh, I don't listen to talk radio much. Uh, there's one thing I learned in the service is avoid politics at all costs. <laughs> well, you might want to rethink that attitude. The wild man will open your eyes, my friend. He set me straight on a lot of things. I'm telling you, George, it's the kind of thing people need to be hearing. Guys like you and me won't get our fair share of the deal if it's gonna be dished out like meals on wheels to every group of screaming crybabies. Hey, even the freaking lab rats have got more rights than us these days. You know, actually, you know, I think that... Oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, you go ahead. You sure? Well, you know me. I was never Mr. Politics either. But I just kept feeling more and more like things aren't right. 
I couldn't figure it out. And then my district manager turned me on to the Wilder Show. Wendell explains what's going on in this country, and he cares about what's right. Do yourself a big favor tonight and give it a listen. There's reasons why every local station's got him on now. Okay, Dan, you know what? Uh, I'll give it a look. <laughs> okay. Hey, it'll make even more sense than that new software I'm bringing in. Thanks, Dan. All right, take care, Jordan. Good to see you. It is just another day. And if you're listening to the Mealy Mouth Left, it's all about alternative morality now. Well, let's just have people running around, resurrecting the free sex of the 60s. Oh, but now we're going to have to include all the gay couples out there shacking up and want to have the marriage certificates just like everyone else so they can run around and get all the medical benefits that they think they're entitled to. Wild things lose it with a tame And tame things lose it in the wild I'll here comes the rain Here comes the rain And bring on the rain Hey George, how you doing? Good to see you there. down on me Hey Giselle. Hey Jordan. How you doing? Good, how are you? Simply put a hole in a person Oh, God, don't ask. That good, huh? Ugh. I think you need to try my new drink, then. What is it? It's heading my way. That sounds great. Something else. We're on the web of the human dilemma. What we're trying to say is violence is the problem. Woo! Okay, Giselle, can you unplug this guy and turn it on now? Okay, Darren. I don't know how you guys can listen to this garbage, Roy. Maybe because this garbage makes sense. I'm the Wilder back here with you, taking you for another wild ride with no bull. We're gonna light up Not this like idiot again. And if any of those liberals care to come out of there safely... Hey, I think the wild man makes a lot of sense. 
don't you, Roy? Makes sense to anybody who takes pride in being an American. Yeah, but I think there uh, might be a little shortage on that here today. Down at the service for Memorial, too. Did you see that noisy bunch of protester types? They'd sing a different tune about America if they ever went shouting their little slogans in places like Korea or Iran. That must be why they do it here, then. Because they're upset with how the country's being run. Ah! Freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. That's just the liberals' mantra for showing their contempt. Probably for wishes Clinton was still president. <laughs> yeah, couldn't live with Billy Boy. Now they can't live without him. <laughs> hey, you guys aren't the only ones with opinions, you know. Hey, Giselle, we're just trying to listen to our show. President, but of course you're a fascist if you dare open your mouth and disagree with the almighty liberal point of view. Well, folks. Wendell Wilde is going to open his mouth and do just that. If any of you liberals... What's going on with these guys? I've never seen them get this excited over anything but football. You haven't been here the past two Fridays, Jordan. It's Mike's fault for turning on the station when our jukebox died two weeks ago. And it was love at first soundbite when they first got an earful of the wild man. Now, it's turned into our Friday happy hour special. Oh, that's just great. I used to have a good time here with these guys. And does the local radio station really need to have these ranting rednecks on all day like this? You know, this is the kind of stuff that gets people going. Oh, Jordan. Getting involved, are we? There's something new. Don't count on it, kid. I learned my lesson overseas a long time ago. I'm never going to get stuck fighting anybody's battles ever again. It's because they're the fascists, Phil. It's see everything the liberals way or you're not really honoring the First Amendment. You see, every last one of them claims they're in favor of free speech. So long as you're free to see everything their way. Boy, are you hitting the drum with the right stick tonight, wild man. It's good to have someone like you looking out for us because there's no way to get liberals to turn their heads one degree to see things the right way. But they sure want that out of us, don't they, Phil? They're just a bunch of stinking hypocrites. Who is that jerk? Oh, you yeah. mind? We're listening to this. And we'll try okay. not to. Thanks for the call. Now, friends, just... Okay, come on now, guys. Not to worry, Giselle. We're just going to talk to them. You know, there's a whole new so you that group that's been causing now. all the fuss down no at the service of Memorial all day? Free country, isn't it? Ought to be glad it is. We are. Hey, you know what I was wondering? If any of you guys ever were. <laughs> Good point, Len. I mean, I wish I had the luxury of just hanging out and hassling people all day. We're not the ones doing the hassling here. Like a bad deodorant. And then you wind up scared to death after a while of anyone wearing a badge or carrying a briefcase. Ain't that the truth. And they've got no respect for anything American. Any of you ever take pride in your country? You know, probably more than you do. At least we have the guts to disagree with America when she's wrong. You ever agree with America? I mean, you ever take a minute to uh, talk about what's right with this country? Yeah, and how do you know America's wrong? Because you say so? Hey, hey, fellas. Well, they're not here to cause any trouble, okay? They really are, don't we? They're all a bunch of left-wing spin doctors who always want Let me ask you this. Do you love your country? The leaders we all elect. Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. That's why we speak out like we do. Okay. We want it to be a better place for everyone. Oh, well, that makes all the difference now that you explain it like that. Now I understand why you carry your little signs and you're burning the flag. Hey, look, look. There's a reason why people burn that flag, fella. Yeah, and there's a reason why you should respect that flag, fella. Like people going to foreign lands and dying so you can run around shooting your mouth off about what a lousy country you think this is. In this country, we have the right to speak our minds whether or not other people agree. That's what one does in a free society. Oh, is that a fact? For that okay, matter, it is, or haven't you read the Constitution lately? Oh, here we go again, Len. Now the high and mighty educated liberals are going to give us a lecture about what America is all about. Look, you're taking this all the wrong way. Of course. We're just a couple of hard-working dummies. What do we know? <laughs> it doesn't sound like you know very much. See, that's just what I'm talking about. Smug as hell, aren't you? 
have it up. Wait a minute, Roy. I know how to settle this. You say that you love your country, that you're all real Americans. It's the kind of attitude Well, that being the case, you won't mind uh, standing up and singing God Bless America. <laughs> okay, Len. That's about enough. And wait a minute, Giselle. We're all just here for a minute. Look, this is getting way out of hand. Yes, yeah, so why don't you guys just leave us alone and we'll leave you alone. Fair enough? Hey, you're the one that come in knocking our radio show and in our bar. Well, you go back to listening and we'll mind our own business. Sounds good to me. Okay, thank you. But, since you claim that you love your country as much as we do, one of you should get up and sing God Bless America. We'll even help you with the words. I think you should sing for us. That's enough! Right on center stage! Hey, hey, back off, Roy, will you? What the hell's wrong with you, George? You're acting like a jerk. What, are you one of them now? Are you one of these pansy-ass liberals all of a sudden? Don't start that with me, Len. I was in Nam. Where did you serve? Hey, uh, hey, I oh, just... Oh, here's a nice twist. Mr. Sing God Bless America was too chicken even to join us. Hey, listen, That's you. enough, I said. I wouldn't be so sure of that, Giselle. And they're the ones up at the I would. Hey, knock it off! Mike! Hey, don't listen to all Thank God. You stay Giselle, right you here. Explain. We always take the wild ride with no bull... Oh, turn that off. Gladly. Next caller, uh, Marge from Dallas. Hello there, Wendell. I have no I idea. Your show and my I... place got suddenly turned into a war zone. But if it happens again, I'm taking names and asking no questions. Understood. Giselle, you have a theory? Oh, yes. Huh, can't wait to hear this. Well, listen, this isn't really like this. I mean, sorry. We got kind of crazy here, but maybe we can uh, buy you a drink or something. Oh, thanks. Please, brother. Jordan, can we get you something? No, no, thanks. Look, look, fellas, just forget about what I said. I think we're just all really worked up. I, I don't know. I got to go. Hey, it's OK. I mean, we, we could. Well, maybe we can talk about this sometime. I, I promise. Later. Hey, it's okay there, buddy. We'll talk, okay? Later, I, I promise. And sometimes, folks, you just got to make a little noise over what you believe. And you have to believe in yourself if you want to put an end to all of this. Good. Folks, there's a real danger out there, and it's taking the decision honest. Ah, honest. Automatically, a bunch of lying crooks will be that trust. kind of brass out of the left. They're the dangerous ones. And let me tell you just and how folks, dangerous like these people are. I'm always telling you, there's the news you hear and the news you should hear. Just keep talking, you jackass. has an agenda to weaken America in situations like that. They're the fascist folks. And folks, your dad said I could show the way the whole system works the while the summer show is still playing. And the news you then you go on? Mm, 20 more minutes, right after the talk show. How you doing? Okay. And then the CPU I've is I've said it before, and monitoring. I'll say it again. Those liberals are all just a bunch of stinking hypocrites who want to What's make a hypocrite? Those liberals are all just a Someone bunch who of says one thing but actually does America a different weak. thing. Stinking hypocrites who want to make America weak. Don't you think you're overreacting a bit here? I just watched a whole bar full of people practically tear into each other over your twisted radio show. Well, it's not our show. Wild Ride is a nationally syndicated talk show. We just carry it. Along with the rest of the hate mongers. Well, then why do they listen to it? Why does anybody listen to it? Mr. Cashman, no offense, but the only time I listen to your radio station is when I want some local news. Well, someone thinks it's worth listening to. Would you like to see the ratings? Oh, this is about ratings? We're a small station, Mr. Everman. We have to pay our bills like everyone else. And you can't survive without hate radio. Well, you know, I wouldn't categorize it that way. It's entertainment. 
And you're taking these radio personalities far too serious. Look, I saw a whole bar full of people. A bar, Mr. Everman. Drunks. <laughs> now, you're going to insist that I remove the most popular part of our programming because some unruly drunks got a little carried away with their own politics? You know, if you had been in Station 58, you would have seen Mr. Everman. Going. Mr. Everman. I can see that you're a sincere man with legitimate complaints. But it's not my responsibility to make people behave properly. Then why can't you offer some programming with a different point of view? That's not my responsibility either. So let me understand this. As station manager, you have absolutely no responsibility to the listening public. Mr. Everman, it's the public's responsibility to educate themselves. I have far more to be concerned with in a competitive market where the market shares... These are everyday people who are being poisoned by your radio... you're not poisoning anyone. No, radio stations like All this right, and other... Everman, I want to thank you for your input, but I have a radio station to run here, so if you will kindly show yourself out. Uh, Mr. Cashman? Aren't you on in a minute? Yes, but your daughter has a question I think it's best you answer. Bring your daughter to work, Dave. So, what's this question you have for me, sweetie? Why do liberals hate America, Daddy? The man on your radio show said that liberals are dangerous. Uh, no, honey, it's, it's just a show. But those people calling up think so, too. Uh, no. Honey, it's just a talk show. It isn't real. It's just a talk show. But they said it's the news. Well, it's, um, it's not the real news. Okay? Then why do you have it on the radio? See? It is true what he said. Those liberals are all just a bunch of stinking hypocrites. They want to make America weak. It's been a pleasure talking to you, Mr. Cashman. You have a good day. And nice meeting you, young lady. Liberal Inquisition out there is pretty stubborn, and it's done a hell of a job brainwashing its flock of foolish followers. I mean, what better way to make this country look like a bunch of saps than, than to, than, than having the liberal... ...telling us how you're going to make a difference right now by getting involved. Much better. Much better.
I believe in you for the film A Radio Rage. Thank you.